Okay, got the yellow done. I went ahead and I did the red doors. Same way I put a glob on the palette. Tell you what, the red, you don't need two coats. I put extra coats on the boxcar since I had plenty of time. And I'm pretty pleased with, with the way they turned out. That is not bad. Remember, I painted that with a paintbrush. And I used a cheap paintbrush. And, and these little spots, if there's little spots that don't have paint on them, we don't worry about those in this process. Because when we go to finish this, those get taken care of. So it's better to back off some of these little edges where you might want to try to paint that red on the end of that door right up to the yellow. You don't need to. And and don't do it. Get the door nice so there's no overpainting. And these ends that have yellow on them, we're going to take care of those in a much easier and complete way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the roof. So I took a glob of this metallic paint, dropped it down on a paper towel. Remember what I said? Do not put metallic paints in your wet palette. That's a no-no. They wreck your wet palette, so don't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and take another chisel brush here from the set. I don't care if the water's dirty, it's metallic paint, it's not going to matter. And I'm going to get some water on here, on a paper towel. Okay, get our brush nice and soft. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get a bunch of water. And this time I'm going to drag out on the paper towel. I'm going to drag out. And I'll get a spot here. Where I'm, I'm not just dragging out. I'm mixing the paint at the same time. Thinning it a little bit. And I'm kind of getting it mixed up good. And I want it nice and smooth on my brush. And we'll check it. Is it smooth enough? We're going to make it. Let's see if we can do this. All right. So, let's give her a shot. Okay. Ooh, against the gray, it's a little hard to see, isn't it? Well, I can definitely see the metal. Oh, there we go. Now we got it. This is just the cheapest metal craft paint that there is and it will be okay it'll work good enough for what we're trying to do here and being a this pigment is way bit thicker way bigger than the fine stuff that we were just using so on this one um, brush strokes there'll be more of them and we'll just need to smooth it If we do a good job of smoothing, we can do this. This is also fast drying, because I'm tempted to just go right across this, right back to it, and then, then start smoothing it. Fortunately, I know that I'll end up with, with large brush strokes by doing that. So I'm just going to work a little area at a time. Work it. Just moving it out here. I don't, for this box car, I don't even know if this prototype, although I have seen box cars with these metal roofs on them. And I also, someone showed me a picture of an old stock car, like old as in uh, 20s and 30s, where evidently whenever they repaired those things, they painted on some kind of silver paint for some reason. I don't know what that's all about, but the roof was silver on a wood stock car. Not bad. 
not bad at all. Turning out nice. Let's go ahead and flip it. Now that I got a little ribbon down here. See that now that I'm warmed up, it's going a lot faster. And I will say painting the red and yellow. I had so much extra time while I was waiting for drive that I could have done a third one. Everything would have just came right together. Um, I could have done four or five at a time, and that would not have been a problem at all. That ain't bad. We're going to have to see we're going to have to go with this. I'm, I'm trying to get light to reflect off it so I can see if I've made any obvious... Any big globs, anything so far. I'm just liking the way it looks. Yeah, I'm going to call that one. Oh, wait. Oh, I see a spot. Uh, it's giving a little more light reflection. I'm just moving it and bouncing light off. Okay, good to go. That's one. Now, now that we know, now that we know what we're doing, this time I think what I'm going to do is start here. I'm not going to do the hard part first, I'm going to do the easy part first. And I did, I did learn on that first round. Doing the side closest to me is a lot faster than doing the side farthest away. Ooh, look how fast we're going. So I put down about a dime size, and that looks like it's going to cover two roofs. So I really did not use very much paint to do this. Okay, now let's look, look for spots. Bouncing some light on a bit. I think we got it. That's two. Oh, this is starting to look like a pair of sharp cars here. Let's set this back here. I can see some spots. We probably. I think we can get. I could do a second coat on this if I wanted to, but okay. When I hold it way back here, I hold it way back here. I can see a little bit of transparency. Okay, so let's. I spread it out a lot in paper towel. Just gonna get a little glob, just half a dime size. Let's go ahead and just let's put on a second coat. Up close, I can't see any imperfection. That's the tricky thing about these metal paints. Is they got to be back quite a ways before you can see if there's any transparency in it. And it was just a little bit. So 
also, I could probably just cut all this good. Yeah, this stuff is drying really fast. I'm going to brush and get it on here and snip it. That's it. I'm just going to use it up. That ought to do the trick. I'm going to use the last of it. I got a couple of dots. But that, 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 really, it does not matter because we're going to be doing a finishing step. And that finishing step is going to take care of that stuff. That's it, that's it. Let's call that one good. Very good. Oh, can you see these? Okay, they're looking, looking pretty nice. Okay, I'm going to do a little cleanup. I'm going to go ahead and seal them, and we'll be doing decals.